in this video i'm going to be talking about how you guys can make a very simple data analytics portfolio under 10 minutes using github pages let's go hello guys and welcome back to my channel my name is ron and i'm a data analyst based in london if you guys are new to my channel i make videos around tech machine learning data analytics all things data so if this is something that excites you then make sure to hit that subscribe button and also hit that like button as it will help youtube to recommend my videos to other users as well over the past few years data analyst and a data scientist has become one of the most sexiest job of 2020 and 2021 every other person now wants to become a data analyst or a data scientist and as a recent graduate it could be very difficult to take that first step or to get that first job as a data analyst especially if you have no background working as a data analyst or a data scientist now if you have probably done some sort of projects in your past building an analytics portfolio is i think probably one of the best things possible if you are applying to jobs to give you an example, a few months back when I was applying for a job, I created an analytics portfolio for myself where I kept track of all the different analytics projects that I've worked on during my master's degree and prior to my master's degree and also after my master's degree. I think building an analytics portfolio is one of the best things you can do, especially if you're applying as a recent grad, just because an analytics portfolio gives you so much leverage to talk about your past projects and it also gives a perspective to the recruiters as to how much do you know about a relevant subject or a relevant domain moreover analytics portfolio is the best way to showcase all the great work that you have done within the field of data analytics now i have personally built an analytics portfolio myself and i'm going to show you how you can build an analytics portfolio in under 10 minutes using github pages so let's dive straight into it as you can see here i have my github repository and i have created four different repositories uh, for the different projects and tasks that i've done um, over the last couple of months um, now the type of projects you can include here uh, could be for example if you're coming to this video right after watching my kpmg video um, then that could be a great example to put inside this particular analytics portfolio um, just because that specific internship um, tests so many different skills for example your data insight skills your data analysis and especially your modeling as well uh, so that that would be a great example to put within this analytics portfolio and if you have not yet watched my kpmg virtual internship video then i would highly suggest you to go and watch that video i would link it down in the description box below and i would also link it on this particular web page probably here or here so this is currently my github setup uh what i want to do here is create a new repository for my project and i'm just going to call this uh ron's portfolio and then i'm going to say analytics uh portfolio i'm going to keep this public and then i'm going to also add a readme file to this and then i'm going to create my repository great now as you can see that i've successfully created my repository what i then need to do is basically go into settings and then on the left hand side you would see an option for pages so that is essentially your github pages what i want to do here is basically connect my github pages um, to the main source and then essentially save this now once i save this i get a url um, which i can then copy and paste and open it now this would literally have nothing because we haven't put anything within our analytics portfolio but what we can do is then go back to our code here and start editing this particular readme file now as you can see we're going to be building out our readme file our readme file is essentially a markdown file so what i can do is i can just go on google and look for a markdown cheat sheet and what this essentially would give me is all the syntax that i would need to essentially build out um, this particular markdown file so what i'm going to do is i'm going to be picking up information that i used for my portfolio uh, that i initially created so i can come here and copy this and i can put this in line one i can take that out and then uh the first project that literally that i want to list down is let's say 
uh, the movies recommendation system that I did. So I can copy that and I can literally paste that here. Now these hashtags that you see next to all these texts are essentially the syntax for these markdown files. So if I was to come for in, inside my markdown cheat sheet, I can see that heading one, which is the biggest heading you can get in a markdown file that has a single hashtag. So I can literally just copy and paste that um, over here. Now, because I already have a GitHub repository that exists, what I can do is I can link that GitHub repository as well. So what you would do is you would put your title in a square bracket and then to link it or to create a hyperlink, you would need to put that in parentheses as well. So as you can see that I have put my GitHub repository for recommendation systems uh, within a parentheses. And if I was to now go back and literally pick all this information up, I can copy and paste it here. And then I can, let's say, say that added uh, first uh, project to my portfolio. So it's easier to track changes. And then if I was to save this, you can see that now my title is essentially um, in bold. And then this is essentially creating a hyperlink um, to my GitHub repository for recommendation systems, which is essentially this. Cool. The same way now what we can do is start adding uh, different projects as well. So what I can do is go back into my initial portfolio that I had created um the image is something we'll be adding towards the end but what i can do now is that you just copy and paste um everything into my updated portfolio um and then i can commit changes and say added new projects and then i can commit to that particular change cool now if we come and refresh this particular web page this should now update with all the different um projects that we have within our particular portfolio now what i also want to do is add an image for one of the projects so for example um the project i did for movies recommendation system model what i want to do is, is essentially add a diagram of what a singular decomposition model uh, looks like and that is something i'm going to be presenting visually it's very important that when you are building out a specific analytics portfolio for yourself uh, to add some sort of bar charts or pie charts for some of the projects that you have done just to showcase the different insights that you gathered from that specific project so what I'm going to do now is essentially um, add a specific image for my movies recommendation system model that I created. Cool. Now let's add our image into our portfolio. So what I want to do is essentially add this particular image within my portfolio. So what I can do is I can go into my cheat sheet, which is which is over here. I'm going to be putting the title over using the value decomposition and then I'll be putting um, this particular syntax to then add the image to my readme file. Before we can do that, what I also need to do is, <coughs> is actually add the image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to, to my um, main repository and then I will be literally just dragging and dropping the file over here so what I've done here is created the image folder and this image folder essentially contains the image file that I need now that I have the image file sorted what I can do is now go back into my readme file I can come here and essentially type that particular syntax and the name of the file uh, that I'll be using for the upload so if I was to come here and then literally just paste that that should update the website now that everything looks ready what i can do is i can go back to my portfolio and then i can refresh this particular page now once i refresh this page it should essentially update all the other projects that i have and then it should update the specific image that i had updated uh, to this to this portfolio 
cool so that should essentially update the image for you that image is now added to the readme file and now if you were to go back to your github analytics url that was provided through github pages and if you were to refresh that specific page uh, everything should be updated thank you guys for staying to the end of the video if you guys have made it this far then i'm pretty sure you guys are very excited to make your own analytics portfolio um, especially if you're a recent grad and you've been applying to different jobs and if you don't have an analytics portfolio already then please go ahead and build one for yourself it's a good way to account to keep an account of the different projects you've worked on and if you would like to add something to your analytics portfolio and if you're just starting out then please go ahead and watch my kpmg virtual internship video it would be a good starting point for you guys if you guys already have analytics portfolio and if you guys want to check out my other videos then you can check out some of the web scraping videos that i did on python i will see you guys in my next video till then keep learning and keep sharing